In today's episode, we're going to speak about the AI perception, how to chase the player, go to the last known location, and if the AI can't see you at the last known location, it's going to go back randomly in the level. So let's see how it looks. So we're going to start the game. We're going to go right in front of the AI. So let's see when the AI see us. Yeah, we're, it's seeing me now. So it's going to chase me everywhere I go, which is exactly what we want until it can reach us. And if we move away, it's chasing us again. So let's go and hide ourselves somewhere. Press F8. So you can see that now it doesn't know where I am. So it's going to go back randomly on its patrol until it can see me once again. There you go. It doesn't know where I am yet. So it's just going to go randomly in the level. And if you see me again, so let's go back here. So if you see me again, you're going to see that it's going to start chasing me once again. So we're going to see exactly how to do this. Well, we're back in the original project. So we're going to just move that out of the way. I'm going to move the AI here. So I'm going to do two blocks just to do like the kind of a T-shape that we had in the intro. First, we're going to go to our NPC. And the NPC itself, we are going to add the AI perception. So just go here on the top left. Just click add and I'm going to search for AI and we're going to have the AI perception. We're going to take the stimulus source. Just click on this. So we're going to go here in the detail panel on the side. So on the right side. And if you go on the register here, you can add an array element. So we're going to add one. And here in the array element, we're going to add the AI sense site right here. This one here. And we're going to be all good for the AI. So. At this point, we're going to go back to our AI NPC. And from here, we're going to do the little logic. If the AI is able to see us going to our last known location, and if he doesn't see us, he's going to go back to the normal patrol, which is our random patrol in that case. So what's going to happen here? If you click here on the side, we're going to add the AI perception. So once again, we're going to click up here, just search for AI. And I'm going to take this time the AI perception and we're going to set up here in the detail panel all the thing that we need exactly for this. So first, same as we did in the character, we're going to click to sense a configuration here and we're going to add our AI site. We're not going to take, we're going to take the config side here. So this one, and if you click here on the arrow and the sense, you're going to have all the setting that you need. So you can read that and put your cursor to see exactly what everything is doing. So us, we're going to leave it as is. So 90 degrees, the angle that the AI is able to see you. So you always do this number time two. So it's going to be 180 degree that the AI is able to see you. So if you think it's too much, you can reduce if you think it's not enough you can obviously change that number so i'm going to leave that at default so here on the dtech affiliation we're going to make sure that we are checking those three bucks so if we go down here we're going to leave that at minus one and the point of view for the size 200 for both of those case so we're going to put 200 200 so it's going to give us a good shape for a kind of triangle shape for the view of the AI. So it's look pretty good when we do this. So here we're going to start our logic. If we click on the AI perception here, you can right click and you can add an event. And the event that we want to use for this project is going to be the target perception update. So target perception update. So this one here. So we're going to click on this. It's going to give us access to the actor and the stimulus. The stimulus is basically the perception here, right? So from this, we're going to do our logic. If we drag from this, we can get the stimulus class sense. So we're going to click on this, right? And we're going to drag from this and we're going to search for equal. And the equal that we want is going to be the AI sense site and obviously this go to a branch we're going to be in our key barrel to go in a branch we're going to connect those two and if it's not the ai sense well we're just going to return a normal node actually <laughs> we cannot return an node because we're not in a function so <laughs> forget about that so we're going to do nothing here i was thinking about something else so if it's true we're going to go to another branch so let's we'll search for a branch 
So we're going from true from that branch to another branch here. And same thing from the condition here, we're going to search for equal. So we're going to put an equal. So we need to plug an actor here. So if we drag from that, we can go right to this actor right here. And from here, we're just going to get the player pound. So from that, if it's true, we're going to set a value for a blackboard. So we're just going to search for blackboard. We're going to get the blackboard right here. And from this, we're going to be able to drag and we're going to set value as object. And if it's true, we're going to set this value there. And we're going to drag that and we're going to do a key name. So we're going to just search for name and it shall have make literal name. So we're going to click on this and we're going to put our target actor. And from the object value here, we're just going to drag and we're going to search for select node. And we're going to take the select object. So the first object will be our get player pound. And the second object will be nothing. Obviously, we're going to go through this just to make sure that you guys understand what it's doing. I'm going to do a branch. I'm just going to connect the branch right there. Search for AI. And we're going to get this one here. So we're going to break the structure. And if we extend this, it's going to give us access to all the thing in the stimulus. It's exactly what we have here if we were breaking this pin. It's exactly the same thing. So from there, we're going to take the condition and put it here in the successful. And we're going to take also the a here from our object and put it right there and we're going to take our blackboard once again so just search for our blackboard down here and get the blackboard from that we're going to set a new another value so set a value and this time we're going to take the vector because we need the last known location for our character so we're going to take vector if it's true we're going to put it there and same again here we're going to search for the name which we're going to take the make literal name and I'm going to call that our last known location and we need a vector in that and the vector will be the stimulus location right here. So now we can take all of that. We can select comment here and just to write exactly what the code is doing for us. So If we go through this now, if the similar stimulus sends a player, right, it will check if it's the player. If it is the player, right, so here if it's equal to the player, as you can see, it's going to set the player here in the, the select object and it's going to change the value to say, hey, we see the player and it's going to start chasing the player. We don't have the chase here, but we're going to do that in our um, behavior tree going to start going towards the player and if at any point of time the AI lose sight of the player well it's going to update the vector location on the blackboard from the stimulus location here and the AI will continue to move to the last known location and if can't see the player again it's going to go back to a roaming patrol so we're going to compile this and now we're going to get an error right there so we have to see exactly why we have an error oh it's because here i have to plug our stimulus right here so we're just going to do a drag here and put it right there perfect now if we compile everything should work there you go so if you don't like it that way you could put that in a function or something but i like when i can see all my stuff and i'm just going to click up here on the show bubble so we can see from far what is doing so we're going to compile this and now we have to go to our blackboard and our behavior tree. So we are in the behavior tree here, but we're going to go to the blackboard first. In the blackboard, we're going to create the tree variable that we need. So we're going to add a new key. And one of the key will be an object. As you remember, set the player as object. So we're going to do target actor. And we're going to click on it. And here as the object, we need to make sure that under this, so if we expand the key, the base class will not be an object, but will be an actor. So we're going to search for actor. We're going to take the first one here and we're going to create a new key. And this key will be a vector and it's going to be the target location. And if we click on it, we're going to leave it as is. And we're going to create a new one, which is going to be a vector again. And this one will be the last known location. If you pay attention, it's exactly what we put in our AI here, right? We put the 
uh, right here we put the target actor and we put the last known location so in our blackboard it's exactly what we have here okay if you're wondering what is the blackboard well the blackboard is only there to old value for our behavior tree right here okay so we're going to save this going to go to our behavior tree here on the top left and here we're going to start to do the little logic that we need to have our ai follow and chase our player so here if you click on there in the sequence we can change the name so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put that for random sequence mean that it's going to go right here to that random uh, sequence here for our ai to patrol from there we're going to start doing the move to our player to chase our player so we're going to drag from that we're going to do a composite and we're going to do another selector and that selector will be named just chase selector you know follow move to everything around those lines you can put that and so we're going to drag from that and we have move to so we're just going to do a task and we're just going to take the move to and if we click on this you have some option here so we're going to leave all of that as default other than the blackboard key so move to is going to be the last known location so we're going to go here and select the last known location and our AI will go to the last known location after seeing the player and if it's not there it's going to go trigger back all the way up here and go back to random patrol okay we need one to go and chase the player so we need to do a sequence to chase the player so we're going to drag from that and and select a sequence that sequence we're going to change it for chase I have our chase selector and our chase sequence from the chase sequence we're just going to click on it and we have everything that we need there so we're going to drag from that and just do a new task and we're going to have move to and if we click on move to we have all our setting but here instead is going to be the target actor so we're going to select target actor it's going there and dumb if it see the player it's going to go to chase this one and move to the player and follow the player until can't see the player anymore and it's going to go to last known location after this so if we click on chase sequence right here what we're going to do we're going to click on it and we're going to add a decorator and we're going to take the blackboard one and we're going to click on the blackboard itself so this one here so make sure it's selected and we're going to change a few things here so if you're wondering what is a blackboard decorator well it's basically a condition right so we're going to put the observer observer aboard here to boat and it's going to be if if set we're going to set that to what the target actor so we're going to go through that in a minute and we're going to leave the name as is but you can change the name obviously that you want so what's happening is that the npc go and play is going to go randomly in the level automatically because it's always up down and left right right is going to start reading from this direction if you see the player it's going to start chasing the player which it's why we move a condition so if it's set so if it's true it's going to target the actor which is our player it's going to move to this location and if last track on the player so it's going to go back up and go move to the last known location and if it, this doesn't work, I mean, if you can't see the AI once again, it's going to go all the way back up and go to this one again. So we can save that all and just see if it's work. So we're going to do play. So if we press F8, we can see that the AI is running anywhere. And if you see us, you can see now he's kind of passing by us. So it's mean that there is a little problem somewhere that we have to to find and fix so we're gonna go through this make sure everything is good and here i forget to put something so we're gonna click on this and i'm gonna add the decorator and i'm gonna add a blackboard once again and then the blackboard is gonna be on result change it's gonna be self because we want that to be able to get out of that right because we didn't put any condition here it was getting stuck in this so that's why we have to put self up here and we're going to put if it's not set and it's going to be our target actor so we're going to save that and once again and we're going to try it out so you can see that now the ai is chasing me right everywhere i go and if i run away and go hide myself press f8 
you can see that the AI is going to go to the last known location and go back to random patrol. All right, if I press F8 again and go see the AI, he's going to start chasing me once again. And if I run away, same thing, doesn't know where I am, is going back to random patrol. So you can see that everything is working. So that would be pretty convenient when we're going to have all or a character AI chasing us in the level. So we're going to be able to run away from them to maybe regen or health or something around those lines or search for ammunition. So we will uh, catch you on the next beer of your tree. And we're going to see if we cannot make the AI attack us or something around those lines. So we'll catch you on the next one.